Previously on the Smith Bay channel. He was so fine. You know what I mean? I thought he was gonna be my baby daddy. But the letter to him and like read out all the rules too because there's a lot of rules that you can't like do. I noticed in like jail, like there's a lot of things that you can't send in the mail. So I want like I got like these cute stickers and I wanted to put them on there when I like I guess like maybe like a month after we had like a phone conversation. And he sent me this letter. So I'm gonna read this letter to you guys. My situation. I was more detailed in my letter because I was like, yeah, I can ask him whatever I want. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so while I was editing, I realized that like, I should have a little intro so you guys can like remember me and like remember to subscribe and like like and all that stuff. So this is your girl. <laughs> Two years in the future. Can you? <laughs> Can you believe it took me two years to give you guys a part two to this video? That's crazy. Like, I still can't believe it. <laughs> Procrastination is real, guys. It is real. But anyways, hey guys, my name is Smith Bay. Welcome to my channel. If you know me, you know me. If you don't know me, hello. Nice to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Please don't forget to like this video and sub. And yeah depending on how this video goes it might be a part three but i promise it will not take three years <laughs> i still can't believe it took me this long to make a part two to this video like it's actually crazy to me like yo procrastination is real it's real it's real <laughs> but anyways back to the video okay. <laughs> uh plus we haven't talked since high school I'm happy to hear that you're doing well and that you're that you graduated and have been getting yourself situated I was surprised to hear you're acting now I didn't even know you were into that I'm so happy to hear you're doing something you enjoy you're probably really good at what you do and I can't wait to see some material yeah cuz I told him I was like in acting now I'm doing all that stuff you know and yeah I think I was giving an update so like I didn't want to be like oh my life is boring my life sucks and yeah <laughs> man my life damn and I told him whatever I can tell him you know cause like yeah 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 <laughs> but where was I sorry to hear that your relationship wasn't great but you already know you learned a lot about yourself in those situations i know i have so don't sweat that bs if it if it wasn't meant to be it's i because there's always someone better around the corner yeah because i was just talking about my relationship too i don't know why like i just said like some random crap like <laughs> not crap because that was my life but like i just felt like bro like am i pouring way too much into this like no stop it but like see how he was like oh like there was someone better around the corner because obviously man wants to be with me but like anyways this is, yeah, it just cheats me because, mm. <laughs> Definitely a video for the next time because, bruh. Anyways, where was I? LOL, I was fucking up all these clubs out there too. A lot of long nights and early mornings. Madame would be wiling, trust me. Family is important too and keep them them close as long as they're not acting critically so yeah i was talking about like you know the club life like uh, how, how, my, how, how how i was out here not like post covid you know but you know going to clubs and stuff and like talked about family too so i was really close to my family so i want to know if he was close with his family because i know one time like back in the day like because i tell my mom everything so i told him i told him I told her about him when we were in high school. My mom, I love this guy. Like, he's so fine. Like blah blah. Showed him her pictures and everything. And then one time she asked me to go like to Food Basics, like the grocery store down here in Canada. 
And I was just like, no, I don't want to go. And I should have went because she just went and she seen the man, my like my ex crush and his mom. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, see, I told you you should have came. I'm like, I should have, because then it have been like such a like another little connection. But anyways, but basically when like I was writing to him, I remember that. So I was like, yo, I gotta, like I want to know if he's a family man because he went with his mom grocery shopping. That's what I usually do. Yeah, I was, so I was talking about family stuff because I want to know like his family life and stuff too because we never got to do that like we never had that opportunity because in high school we were so like good and then things went sour so it was like uh, if it didn't go sour what what could have been like you know what I mean so I felt like I had that opportunity with these letters but anyways let me continue all my family is in the states right now I'm still really close to them the distance is a bit of an obstacle but they're always with me in spirit i have i have a one two day ones with me in canada but my main support is my family in the states i don't have anything i don't have any youths but in the future i want a nice little family one two kids boy or girl doesn't really matter i'm a love them some ways to my best abil ability ability gosh I can't even do but yeah so I was asking like the family support which I found really sad because like he had like literally um no one up here but like two friends and then I guess me at the time because like you know what I mean so that's why I wanted to even contact him even, even more to just know that he had like no proper support up here so that's what something I wanted to do too but the matter ruined it Anyways, and then I asked him about like family and stuff. I wanted to see like, you know, are you a family man? Like, do you want family? Like, you know, like, so like he like, so he's like, yeah, I've, like of course I want like, I want kids. So that was good to know. I want to be in their life as much as possible. Growing up without that family structure is, structure is tough. But enough of all this, I want to know what you're chefing up in the kitchen. I'm a super foodie. Let me find out you're cooking up some Katie and shit. LOL. It better be some real meals like some steak and potatoes, ackee and sausage, jerk chicken, the real, real. Maybe there will be a time when I could chef a meal for you. I'm quite the chef myself. Yeah, so I just asked him about family and stuff and like, you know. And see, like he has similar situations where you know, a, like the like you know the man left the household, or whatever. So I, you know, it was good to know. Not good to know, cause that's like a sad situation. But it was like nice to know that we had that stuff in common, you know. So yeah, and then I said like I was talking about like stuff that I'm doing now. So I'm like, you know, I'm baking now. I'm starting to cook more because like you know, COVID we have bare time now you know what i mean so it's good to learn some skills so that's what i was doing so i just wanted to let him know well not let him know but say like that's what i'm doing so then he's like yeah you know you better cook that real stuff i know to cook too and you even said like yo you'll cook for me one one of these days i don't i don't know how it gonna happen but you know i was like okay yeah, daddy cook for me Oh, how's this this letter? I read so many times. But anyways, let's continue. Uh, and you're right. I'd be in the gym every day, looking like a snack. Lol. But on the real, I'd be in. But on the real, I'd be in shape going in. I'll try and get some pics sent out to you, but it's a whole process over here with that. But enough about me. Yeah. So I was like, you know, mm, you must be like. A whole different man now because like when we were, we were 14 we were kids you know so I was like bro and back then he was sweet ooh so I was like imagine how he looks now you know what I mean so I wanted to see like how he looks now like I wanted a little update I wanted like yo we must be in the gym all day because even when we were on the phone before he was like what's it called he was like Oh yeah, because he had to go. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to go work out. So I was like, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was just like so excited. So I'm like, I want to know. Sorry. I'm like, I want to know 
how you looking now, fam, you know? But never got to see that. Still don't know how he looks like up to this day. Like the update, I guess. But yeah, and then I sent him pictures out too because I was like, bro, like, you need to see how I look now because, like, girls looking like good now. Uh, and these days, like, we looking, we're glowing, glowing up little by little, like, but anyways. <laughs> so he's like, but enough said about me looking like a snack yourself. I see you all glowed up looking hella good. Better be sending more, you better be sending me more pics with your next letter. Maybe a full 360, but I'll leave that up to you. And Smith Bay, because I'm not going to expose my real name. <laughs> Don't overthink these letters. If you want to write five pages, I'll hit you back with the same. You already know nothing but love. Write me back and about write me back about anything. Stay optimistic. Send pics of anything. And Happy New Year's. Yeah, so I sent this letter basically on New Year's. I feel like I'm missing more of the letter. I guess not. Yeah, but basically I sent that letter, yeah, by around Happy New Year's. So it was like end of December, so I'm like, by the time he gets it, it's gonna be like the New Year. That's when I sent it. But yeah, I was just like, so like, like I said before, like about the pages, I was so in, 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 <laughs> I was so insecure because I was like, bro, like, I'm writing so much like this is too much like I took these like these letters writing to him was like like as a like what's it called a diary like <laughs> I took it as like a whole diary like and it's so th therapeutic to do it like I'm telling you guys it's really good. but this is so then he sent me another one um on February 8th he sent me another letter and it was like really short but like and this was like basically the last letter i ever got from him ever again which we'll get into that all right guys that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for part three it will be coming soon i promise y'all so just stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so when you are updated for any more videos i have in the future thank you have a good night or day.